Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. It is, what is today? It is Monday, February 18th, uh, President's Day. Uh, about to head out for my son's practice. Uh, so I thought I would check in really quick today. It'll be brief today. Um, talking about a commitment. What's up, Artemis? Uh, commitment to uh, the process. Commitment to, what's up, Donnie? commitment to your dreams and goals, right? So today, uh, you know, Monday, President's Day, uh, I had thought maybe I'd have a day off from training my classes uh, or at least going later, but many people worked. Yeah, almost practice time, DG. Um, almost, um, almost thought I would have a day off today. Thought people would be, be off from work and might want to come in later at least, uh, but it was a full day. So 6 a.m. class, 7 a.m. class, 8 a.m. class, 9 a.m. class. Uh, so I was up early, 4.15 a.m., dark, 30 degrees, right? Not as cold as the Midwest or East Coast, but cold for us. Um, so after a long day, you know, I had to get my workout in. And to be honest, it wasn't the greatest of workouts, right? My elbow's killing me, uh, tendonitis from doing these damn 200 pull-ups last week. Somebody challenged me to 200 pull-ups, so... You know, I got to meet the challenge. So I did 200 pull-ups. My elbow's killing me from that. Then I deadlifted, you know, not super heavy weight, but enough to, to make my elbows hurt. So I was in pain. I was tired. Uh, and quite frankly, I was, you know, not feeling very good, not confident. You know, there's periods of time. People don't understand this. There's, there's periods of time where, hey, Roxana, where even people who are, who you deem as, having it all together, right? Being fit, you know, maybe having a good, you know, status in their in their workplace, good position, maybe good money, maybe good looking. Um, there are times when we all think they have it all together. And at least from the standpoint of people that I know in fitness and me, especially me, uh, that is not the case, right? And it's even harder when it's my job to to be motivating and inspiring to people, right? That's the one part of of leading, you know, leading people in fitness that I underestimated by by the nth degree, right? The ability to motivate, inspire, teach, lead people when you don't feel confident in yourself, right? And contrary to the the character of Coach Bobby an athlete Bobby, and competitive Bobby. Bobby, you know, Bobby Bluford, who grew up. Hey, what's up, Corey? Speaking of, speaking of the old time, uh, you see Davis. Uh, Bobby, the guy who, you know, who just a regular person in school and in social settings, has always had periods in my life where I've dipped in confidence and self-esteem, maybe even depression. Um, and so... You know, there's times like today where I've had to work through a workout, not feeling like it's it's of any value. I mean, there were times when I was younger, you know, before I started get, gaining in strength and size, where I would literally cry myself through workouts. Sounds corny and sounds sappy, but I would be in tears, right? Going to the gym, right? In tears at the gym, going through sets, Right? not understanding why why all the work I put in wasn't bearing any fruit, right? And many of you have gone through this. You know, you can't, you know, the scale is what it is. You feel like, you feel frustrated. The diet didn't work. The exercise program didn't work. And you guys did it for maybe six weeks, maybe six weeks. I have been doing it for years, right? And and still feeling skinny, still, still feeling afraid to take my shirt off, believe it or not, or, 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 or at least not until I felt pumped up in a gym. I mean, I still do that. You know, my my normal uh, routine at a gym is I almost never go to a gym session with a tank top on or even a t-shirt, right? I always come somewhat bundled and then work out a little bit, get pumped up before I, I call it unveiling, but it's really a confidence issue. I don't, I don't feel buff enough, fit enough, hey, Christine, to show my muscles until they're pumped, right? That's a self-esteem issue. Right, so there's many workouts where I don't feel like working out, and I feel like it's not of any use, and I feel like why am I doing this? 
right? Like today, my elbow was hurting. It was early in the morning when I got up. I was tired. My daughter wanted to go home. She came with me to work out. Bless her heart. And so I kind of wanted to go home, right? And that happens to people who you see as fit all the time. You think that they magically have some different DNA or some different genetic code that makes them want to work out more than you. That's not the case at all, right? What is the case is that they have, they are able, like I am, they are able to, in the moment, understand why they're doing it. Understand that, that in this moment, there's two things that I want to do. I want to, at some point, be fit, even if I don't feel fit right now. And I also want to take my ass home and get on the couch and eat some Pringles and watch television. And so in that moment, we have to choose what's more important to us, what we want more. Right. And we all do that in our lives. We all do that in, in areas of our lives, like our jobs, like taking care of our children, hopefully. Right. Where we do things every single day we don't enjoy doing or love to do or would choose to do if it were just up to us. Right. You wouldn't choose. Hey, Dan, you wouldn't choose to go to work at 8 a.m. if it was up to you. Right. But you tell me I need to make money. So I do. It. I have to do it. It's easy. I have to do it. Right. Right. You know, you wouldn't choose every day to get up and make your kids breakfast and make your kids lunches and, and, and fold clothes and do laundry and clean the house. You wouldn't choose to do that. But you do it because it's part of who you are as a husband or a wife or a mother or a father. Right. So we do plenty of things. Right, DP. We do plenty of things we don't like to do or want to do every single day for somebody else. Right. For a boss that might lay us off. Right. For our kids that don't always appreciate us. Right, but when it comes to us, when it comes to our dreams, our goals, right, whether it's to lose 20 pounds, build a business, write a book, whatever it is, we find every excuse to avoid that in the moment. Right? And what I'm telling you guys is what makes people different who are fit, right, is that they it's non negotiable to them. Right? It's the equivalent of having a job to them. Right? They don't see it as I'll do it if I got time. Like the same way you don't you don't say I'll go to job go to go to my job if I feel good, right? I'll make my kids breakfast and lunch if I'm in the mood, right? Those are non-negotiable tasks that you do every day, right? And so, my fitness is the same way, right? It's non-negotiable. It's part of who I am, right? Whether I like it, whether I enjoy it, whether I see benefit in the moment of from it or not, it's my it's part of my job. It's part of who I am. It's part of what I want to be. Now, I have, I have tools and tricks that I do with my head to remind myself why I'm doing it, right? To motivate people, to inspire people, to give my, 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 my son and daughter a role model, right? To enjoy walking on the beach, to enjoy looking in the mirror, to feel good about who I am, be confident in whatever I do. Yeah, I have, I have tricks and tools, but then at the end of the day, it's non-negotiable for me, right? Just like going to your job, Monday through Friday for 40 hours a week is non-negotiable to you. Just like feeding your kids every day, right? Taking care of your husband or wife is non-negotiable to you, right? And so if you want your goal of losing weight or whatever goal it is, write a book, you know, start a business. What If you want that to be, to be true, to come to fruition, you have to treat it like it's non-negotiable, right? Not something you're going to do. When things are perfectly aligned, when it feels right, when you're in the mood, all this nonsense about <clears throat> I, I need to get motivated and inspired. Fuck that. You got you to gotta do the work and then let that create the inspiration and motivation. Sometimes you have to work first and let that inspire you. There are, you know, uh, writers, <clears throat> musicians, they write continuously whether they want to or not. They don't wait to be inspired to write. Right? They, they write even when they don't want to write. And then that leads to inspiration. That leads to self-confidence. Every time you get up and go work out, every time you get up and write something down for that book you want to write, every time you research how to start a business, you are keeping a promise to yourself. And that creates confidence. Every time you do the opposite of that, you make whatever excuse it is to not work out, to not write that page in that book, to not research that job or research that business, you are breaking a promise to yourself. And that leads to less confidence. So that's what I do. That's what I do. I, I get up and, and whether I want to work out or not, 
right? My bar is high. I tell myself, look, this is something that, that I want to be in life, and it's non-negotiable. It's non-negotiable, right? And just like with your job and with your kids and with other things that you do every day, the bar to not doing that for me, the bar to not working out for me is high, right? Coma and pregnancy, I tell my, my boot campers. Right? I haven't missed more than four days working out since August 15th, 1990. My first day of football camp at UC Davis. I ain't missed more than four days in a row. Not because I'm special. I've had injuries. I've had deaths in the family. I've had sicknesses. I've had long work hours. I've had projects. I've had school. I've had kids. I didn't have kids, but we have kids. So all the things that you use as excuses, I've had. My wrist is still broken. Right? I've been at my, at, at my business now for five years, and no one can tell you I've been gone for a week. No one. Because I haven't. Right? I've been there every day for them. Right? My, my best ability, I feel, is my availability. Right? A coach once told me that your best ability in life is your availability. And so for your dream, for your goal, that's your best ability. Be available. Be on task. And make that bar high. As to what, what it will take for you not to do that, right? Your job, your job is like that, right? You don't get the sniffles and call in sick every time. You fight through stuff, right? Problems at home, you go to work still. Right, Sarah? Right, Orlando? Right, Monica? You go to work still, right? So the bar to your goal has to be high. Right, it can be every little, every little ding you get, every little injury, every little emotion you have that prevents you from chasing your dream. Right, we're talking fitness, but it could be anything. So I was down today, right, feeling like you know, you know, who am I? What am I doing? Right, am I really in great shape? Right, should I be doing this still? Right, why am I doing this still? Right, holding a pity party for myself by myself. Right, my daughter was in was in the car reading a book for for a project. She came early to do the eight o'clock in. She came at five thirty in the morning with me to do the eight o'clock class. That's her favorite, right? And then stayed after the classes to wait for me to work out. That's commitment. But while she was when she was done in the car and the classes had all left, it was me and and my voice fighting the battle. Right, feeling bad. Thanks, Corey. Feeling bad. Feeling down. Right, Corey's known me for, for 25 years, right? Going back to UC Davis when I was super skinny, right? And so I've been at this for a long time. And every time I feel like crying or giving up or, or what does it all mean? I remember, number one, while I'm doing it. And I remember that, that, that this, my fitness is non-negotiable. My health is non-negotiable. My confidence, my demeanor, the aura, the brand that I am, whatever that is to people, is non-negotiable, right? Just like feed my kids and provide for them is non-negotiable. Being a good husband is non-negotiable. Being a good person is non-negotiable for me. So it comes down to that. Right now, for many of you, it's not non-negotiable. It's negotiable, right? It, it, you, the price you pay is, is, is a cup of ice cream. Right, that's the trade-off, or, or an extra hour of sleep. So there's a price that you'll pay for that. For me, it's non-negotiable. And so that's how I got through it. I'm still feeling down, right? But tomorrow I'm going to get up, right, and go to the gym because it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is my scheduled days. Thursday, Friday, or well, Friday halfway, then Saturday. But I try to get it, get it done Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, take Thursday off. So tomorrow, right, rain or shine, Right, crying or not, upset or not, depressed or not, in a good mood or not, I'm gonna be in the gym getting after it. Because number one, that's who I am. Number two, that's who I want to be to people around me. Right? So I have voices in my head that, that remind me why I'm doing this, but more importantly, it reminds me that my fitness and my health is non-negotiable. Right? So that's my message, guys. You know, if you think it's always perfect and, and, and la la land and lollipops, it's not. Nothing worth having is. It's not. Raising kids ain't that way. Being married ain't that way. Growing a business ain't that way. Chasing a, a master's degree ain't that way. Losing 20 pounds ain't that way. None of it is. Right? I wish it were, but it's not. So in the beginning, it feels good. 
right? When you finally get there, hopefully it's going to feel good. But in the middle, there's some turbulence, right? And instead of giving up every time it doesn't feel perfect or you don't feel happy or you don't feel great or you don't feel in the mood, I want you to remember that your health, your fitness, whatever dream you're chasing is non-negotiable, right? Coma and pregnancy are the only two things I'll accept from my boot campers. Right? If you're in a coma, I'll take it. If you're pregnant, I'll take it. Other than that, get your ass in the gym. Your dream's the same way. Whatever your dream is, right? Keep that bar high. Keep that bar high as to what it will take for you to not chase it today. Keep it high. Keep it high if you really want it. Keep that bar high to the, thing that, the things that you allow to prevent you from becoming what you know you can be. All right? So I cried a little bit today. I was upset. I was down. Took a nap. Right? You know, fought through a workout with some pain. Uh, what's up, Craig? What's up, Sandra? What's up, Teresa? But tomorrow I'm back at it again. Hurt elbow and all. Right? I'm going to ice it. Right? I'm feeling down. But that will it'll pass. Right? It, it, and when it passes, you don't want to be out of the game for two weeks. Right? One of the, the things that I teach people is that when they go through these in these moments where they're not motivated, they're not inspired to work out, we all go through that shit. You ain't the only one. Right? You ain't the only one that feels that way. Right? Lou Ferrino feels that way. The Rock feels that way. I feel that we all feel that way. Right? But one day, you're going to want to be fit again. And what you don't want to do is be in this moment and, and give in to it and sleep in and miss your workouts and eat all that cake and cookies. And then in two weeks, realize, you know what? I actually did want to be in shape. I actually did want to wear that, those short shorts or that tight shirt or whatever it is. Right? So remember that, that, that you might not want it now, but you're going to want it again. I promise you're going to want it again. All right? So fight through it, guys. Fight through the good. Enjoy the good times when you're enjoying your workouts, when you're enjoying your fitness, when you're enjoying whatever goal you're chasing. But fight through, right? And weather through the times when it doesn't feel good, when it feels like you're not getting anywhere, when it feels like you're going backwards, when it feels like it's too tiring and frustrating and disappointing, right? Those are the times you got to stick with it. Those are the times you got to remember that these are the times when most people fall off, but not you, not me, not us. Not you, not me, not us. All right? So that's it. My message. Tomorrow I'm going to wake up, right? I'm going to wake up. I might, be, I might feel good. I might not feel good. I might be motivated to work out. I might not be motivated to work out. My elbow might feel better. It might not feel better. But either way, I'm getting after it. Either way, my bar is high. Either way, my health and my fitness is non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. All right, guys. Have a good night. Got to get out of here. Get my son to practice. Um, see you there, Donnie. Um, you guys are great. You know, it's a struggle to be great. That's why most people are average. But we're not. Right, you're listening to me. I'm talking, and there's there's a nugget inside of us that wants to be great. So let's keep that going, right through the good and the bad. Encourage each other, push each other, motivate each other, inspire each other, right? Right, Rob. Rob inspires me every day, right? Teach each other, love each other, right? Be understanding, Coach Bobby, of each other, right? But at the end of the day, you know, when when you when you're by yourself which I, I always say to everybody, we have coaches, we have teachers, we have spouses, we have friends, we have people that help us and push us and motivate us and teach us, but most of this battle we have with our goal, with our dream, is a one-on-one -on -one fight, right? In the bathroom, in the shower, in the bed, driving in the car. It's a one-on-one -on -one fight with you and your voice, right? And, and at the end of the day, you're gonna win it, but you're gonna win it only if you keep a few things in mind, right? That we're fighting this fight together, that we're not quitting, that what we want is worthy of the fight, and that our goal, our dream, our fitness, our health, whatever it is, is non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. All right, guys, have a good night. Got to run. Get my son to practice. Love you guys. Have a great night. As always, we're trying to get better every single day. Every single day, guys. BTY. All right, bye-bye.